Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Free Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take another first look, this time at Valhalla Hills. It's by Fanatics and Daedalic Entertainment. And it released back in December 2015. I think it was December 2nd, in fact. And it is a God-esque uh, city builder management type game. It's actually a lot of fun. Essentially, I'll do a real quick rundown because there's actually going to be an opening cinematic that I'm going to play for all of you, and it will do a little bit of a better job explaining it. But basically, you're the youngest son of Odin who likes building stuff, which isn't very Vikingly, so you get kicked out of Valhalla, which in turn also lets you meet up with the heroes that are trying to get to Valhalla that Odin's like, eh. So you kind of group up, and you're going to try to reclaim your place in Valhalla. So that's basically how it all plays out. Anyway, guys and gals, we're going to go take a peek at the wonderful, wonderful opening cinematic, and then we will come back and get started. All of their lives, the Vikings strive for honor so that when they die, they may join Odin for feasts and celebrations in Valhalla. However, Odin has recently been on edge and in no mood to receive obscure would-be heroes. The fault lies with his youngest son, Liko. At an early age, the gentle lad began to exhibit inclinations and talents quite uncharacteristic of a Viking, instead of proving his skills at sparring and drinking. Finally, Odin lost patience with him. He banished Nico dishonorably to Earth, where he was told to make himself useful for a change as the god of builders. But Liko has a plan. Through the bond forged by their common fate, he has banded together with the rejected heroes. In defiance of the perils facing them, they are determined to prove their worth to Odin and risk the return to Asgard, all the way to the Valhalla Hills. However, as the first of the warriors request admittance to Asgard, Odin is far from impressed. If you wish to dine at my table, you will need more honor. A lot more honor. All right, so there you have it, folks. Let's hop in and get started. I have deleted my profile. I played maybe about an hour of the game. There's still some stuff I don't understand, but I get a pretty good idea of what's going on. This is not going to be my typical one-off first-look videos, guys, so there's going to be three to five episodes in this, and hopefully that gives you guys enough meat of the game that you can make a good choice as to whether or not you want to get it or play it or not play it or whatever the case is. Anyhow, let's hop in, start, create our profile. We are going to be known as Bumpy. I know it's super original, guys. That is what we're going to be called, and we're going to go and, I guess, start a new map. Now, we're going to go with the normal game, which essentially lets us progress through the game like a storyline. Whereas, if we go with open game, everything is available to us, including all sorts of different things, sizes of maps, and everything else. We'll unlock stuff slowly through the normal game, and I would recommend playing it this way first, maybe, just to enjoy it. Anyway, let's hop in and get started, as I said. We shall click to continue. And I will try to explain how everything actually works out here. Welcome, Leko. It's like Lego, but with a K. God of building. Prove to your father that you are worthy of returning to Valhalla by mastering randomly generated missions suited to your progress. Everything you do may unlock new opportunities and challenges. Your goal is to lead your followers to the summit of Valhalla time and again, and gather honor by constructing buildings, fighting or performing offerings. The construction menu at the bottom of the screen is divided into buildings for production, transport, and battle. Open the construction menu now! Alright guys, so our, our dudes fl fell from the sky. As you see here, we can actually pause. I believe the spacebar pause? It does not. So we can pause the game, we can look around, we can move around with the WASD keys. It's a little bit weird because you kind of rotate slightly. But again, we're only interested in this. You can also rotate with Q and E, but you can't go full circle with it. You can only go about, not even halfway around, I guess. And then I think if you hit backspace, it's supposed to, I don't remember, guys. I don't remember what the uh, key to reset the camera is, but it doesn't matter. You can do it all pretty easily on your own. You can also hold the middle mouse button and do whatever you want with the camera in one go. You can change the pitch, the angle, you can rotate it, whatever the case is. You can zoom in with the mouse wheel, you can zoom out. Very, 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 very far. And, yeah. Alright, so let's take a look at the interface really quickly. We have the normal game adjusts unlocks to your in-game progress. Every action you take unlocks new achievements. So, essentially, right now, we have five requested Vikings out of a total of 20. 
We have housing for 10, but we have 5 Vikings right now. We have 0 Warriors, and we have 5 Unemployed Vikings. This is your day-night cycle. It tells you what's going on. Your Vikings will sleep and all sorts of other various things. We can view the starting portal, which essentially is where we start at. Viking supplies and starting portal. Viking supplies and starting portal. I guess I don't need to read it twice, but eh, it was so nice I wanted to do it twice. It's fine. Your supply of Vikings depends on the size of the map and is limited. Moreover, only as many Vikings can fall from the sky as there are dwellings. If the population limit has not been reached and you have built enough dwellings, the Vikings arrive automatically when there is work to do. If there is no work to do, you can order new Vikings manually. Huh, cool. Well, there we go. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get this started here in just a second. We're going to continue to go over everything. So down here, you have the resources that you actually have available, which we don't have a whole lot. And then there's a bunch of other stuff. Statistics, unlocks, next, uh, tutorial messages, and all sorts of stuff like that. The next shows you what is next to unlock. So, eh, that's pretty cool. And you'll see all your unlocks pop up up here. These will actually replay any of the tutorial missions or messages that you missed. So we'll right-click those away. You can left-click to check them out. Show all notifications with a low-priority green or higher. Military notifications, production, and system notifications. All right, well, we don't need to select the portal anymore. I'm going to hit Escape, and that pretty much shows you everything. You also have the main menu down here. Here is where you will build your buildings, guys. So let me zoom out a little bit. That was a bit excessive here. All right, what we're going to do is go into production, and we're going to want to build ourselves a woodcutter's hut. And we're going to actually unpause the game. We're going to go to logistics, we're going to production. Usually it tells you something, but I suppose not. Alright, so what we need to do is build the woodcutter's hut. We can only build it in the green area, I believe. We can't build it in any of the ones that are black. And we want to build it as close to trees as possible. So I think this is probably the ideal location for it. So once that's done, your guys will be like, oh, hey, you see the white-named person down there? I, I can't figure out who it actually is right now. There we go, Bjarni. He is the only one that's going to be working on this. He has to pick up the resources scattered around the portal, and he will slowly build that. We can get an additional carrier. One more is all we need to get that going, but he'll be able to handle it, and there it is. So he has done it. The building is ready, and he is now officially our first woodcutter. So additionally, we're going to need to make a toolmaker now, and the toolmaker should be pretty close to either a storage location or your actual woodcutter. So we'll throw him over there. We will also go into our logistics menu and build ourselves a couple tents. And the tents will house any and all working class stiffs. Eh, eh. So our guys right here, they'll actually house those guys, and things will get handled a little bit quicker. I'm going to add an additional two carriers over here to get the toolmaker going. And that will give them a little bit of work. And as you see, we have, uh, is that Liv? Liv fell from the sky along with good old Inga. And the toolmaker is there. So the first tool that the toolmaker makes, and I think she does it automatically, is she will make herself a hammer. And she will then be able to make tools a little bit quicker, and then we'll be able to make axes and all sorts of other various things. It will be sweet, sweet, nice style. Alright, so we're missing the simple axe to allow our woodcutters to cut wood more efficiently. And as you see, a simple hammer was manufactured. So now Freya, or Freya, is actually rocking the hammer, and she's like, yeah, I'm a superhero. So what we need to do is click on to the toolmaker and queue up a simple axe for production. So we'll do that, and we'll wait and see how that all plays out. Now, our hut is built, and all the workers should kind of go to that hut. We only have two workers right now. These guys we don't care so much about because they don't do anything, so the workers are actually taken care of, and I believe you can fit two people in a hut, and as such, they will actually be more productive in their work. I know. Shocking. Shocking to be sure. Alright, so we did the simple hammer, we did the building, we did the other building, and that's pretty much all we have to do. The portal now can actually be opened. If we open the portal, we can actually end this map, and we could do that, but I want to get the axe going first. Once that's done, then we'll go. We'll speed up time a little bit, so Freya is a little bit quicker at getting the axe done. And she's still not quite there yet. Oh, she is. She just finished it. All goods have been manufactured. He's going to run over there. He's going to grab the axe. Now he's going to be more efficient. If you've been watching before, he was actually chopping down trees by punching them to death. Not exactly the most ideal of situations. 
All right, folks, we have done this particular mission. We're going to open the portal, and that is pretty much going to do it. You can't open the portal when you pause, apparently. All right, let's open it up. And victory is ours. Your Vikings have demonstrated considerable courage and acquired heaps of honor with all of their deeds. Each increase in honor also increases their standing with Odin and brings them that much closer to gaining entrance to Valhalla. Numerous actions can be carried out by your Vikings. Also, unlock unlocks. Okay. Sure. <laughs> These may consist of new buildings, technologies, or other things. New unlocks will always become available to you in your next mission. Start the next mission now. And these are all the unlocks that we just achieved. And you see there's a whole bunch of honor coming our way. So let's take a look. We got small storage. We got fishing lodge. We got rabbit. We got military camp. Mi minimum size increase. Altar. Ice viking. A summiteer. Wrath of the gods 1. And a very small map. We're all unlocked. And we can now enter the portal and end this. And we're going to do so. And we'll actually get to see all the things that we unlocked a little bit more descriptiveness of it coming up right now. So, let's go take a peek. Alright. The small storage has been unlocked. The worker of a small storage collects goods and resources from the surrounding region and stores them in a big box. So essentially, it centralizes all of your crap, basically. All of your stuff, all your resources that you need. The fishing lodge. Fishermen uh, provides your Vikings with fresh fish, which keeps the Viking well sated for some time. Rabbit, these cute little rodents can be hunted down and provide meat and leather, but we have to actually have a hunter in order to do that, which I don't believe we have. The military camp. A military camp is a semi-permanent facility for the lodging of an army. Choose a weapon class to recruit the corresponding soldiers. The minimum size for maps is increased. The altar. Be calm the ice guardians of the portal by offering them resources. Uh, ice vikings. The ancient inhabitants of the eternal ice are doomed to walk between the worlds. Summiteer. The first map has no summit, but hey, you made it. Wrath of the Gods. From now on, enemies will arrive through the portal stones once they are opened. And very small map is now unlocked. Alright, we're going to go and we're going to play through the next little bit, guys. And then we'll break off this first episode. Remember, I'm going to be doing between three and five episodes of Valhalla Hills. So hopefully you guys enjoy all of that. Our Vikings shall fall from the sky once again. Welcome to the second mission. There you are. The first transition through a portal was child's play. But the portal guards grow in strength and become increasingly aggressive as the game progresses. To train soldiers to fight them, you need military or army camps. Alternatively, you can appease them by sacrificial altars, thus opening the way through the portal by peaceful means. We are not peaceful. We're Vikings. We want bloodlust and murder and death and killing. That's how we roll. You think this bearded individual with the pointy hat with the horns on his hat, his little boob hat, on his, you know, he, he doesn't want to be peaceful. He wants to kill stuff. It's a known fact. Vikings, super angry people. Super angry people. All right, we're going to go to production once again, and we're going to get ourselves to the Woodcutter's Lodge again because it's ridiculously super important and expensive. No, it's it's like the, the key thing to getting things done. All right, we're going to do that. Additionally, I'm going to move all of our storage stuff over here. Which is going to be nice. It'll be a little bit of a quicker deal for him. And we're going to go with production. We're going to build ourselves a tool maker over here. And then we're also going to build ourselves a fishing lodge. I guess it's going to have to be down here, which is a little bit sad. I was hoping to be able to get within range of that, but that doesn't seem to... Well, you know what? We might actually be able to. That might work. We'll try to build it there. He should be able to fish right down here and be within range of that. It is looking pretty good. You can also move around with WASD. I don't know if I've said that, guys. I think I said that at the beginning. But just in case I didn't, now you know. Alright, we're going to go with logistics. We're going to build ourselves a little hut over here. We're going to probably build ourselves another little tent over here, just in case we need to. And then we're probably going to build up, I'd say, maybe a third tent over here. And then we need to build ourselves the military camp. So here we are, military and army camps. You can relocate military and army camps to deploy warriors where you need them. An army camp is a larger version of a military camp, meaning it barracks more warriors. If a military or army camp is posted near an armory, the warriors can equip themselves with better weapons, provided there are some in stock. If your warriors spend time near a brewery, goldsmith storages, or couriers, they will take the gold or malt beer they find there automatically. 
Every malt beer that warriors drink increases their life energy. Every piece of gold they receive increases the damage they can inflict. Post your military and army camps near the respective buildings to improve your warriors. Alright, guys and gals. That being said, we are going to probably plop down like right there, I guess. We need to be somewhat close to that whole thing, and as such, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we need to get ourselves some more tents up and running. Once those are up and running, we'll be looking pretty solid. Alright, you're going to build, the toolmaker's going to build herself the hammer first. Alright, so our building's ready, our building's ready, our building's ready. This is here. We cannot order any more Vikings because we don't have enough dwellings. That will change soon. We have all the stuff queued up. It's just not quite ready there. The portal can be opened because people ro roamed close enough to it to actually open it. So there's that. And the tool has been manufactured. And now we are going to manufacture a couple of simple axes. And I'm hoping that we have enough stuff to actually do that. And then we're going to go and a couple of uh, simple fishing rods. So we will see, guys and gals. We will see. I'm not sure why there's still people around that aren't working. We're going to grab two more people there. We're probably going to grab one more person here. And that should be pretty much all of our resting angry peeps. And then we should be pretty good. And is it is it Freya that's the... Uh, storage worker yep phrase is like I'm gonna gather food I'm gonna gather all sorts of stuff and you guys are going to love me for it and now we have our new guy Orm Orm is here Orm is angry Orm wants to murder it's gonna be fine all right so what do we do we built this we built that we need um, an axe which we do not have yet a simple hammer is there simple axe is still missing and we're missing logs so there's gonna be a little bit more to that Path is unlocked. Paths affect where and how your Vikings move and extend the working range of your buildings. So that'll be available in the next mission. So right now, basically, we just have to get our woodcutter to cut some wood a little bit more efficiently. Once the axe is built, it will be more efficient. I'm just hoping that the woodcutter grabs the first axe before the warrior does. Whether that happens or not remains to be seen. Lars is not quite done yet. We're going to speed up time a little bit here, guys. We're kind of waiting on a few things, so we'll see if it all plays. Okay, a couple more buildings are ready. We're still waiting on the whole axe process. Some more tool makings being done over here. And we're still waiting, guys. We're still waiting. Alright, Freya just picked up the axe, and she is ready now to go and chop down tree. Oh, maybe she didn't. Is Freya the tree chopper? Let's take a look. I can't tell. She's too fast. She really is too fast. There we go. She... Nope, she's a storage worker. Okay. Ingolf is our... Yeah, he got the axe. Alright, so there we go, guys. So tree chopping should be way, way more efficient for our boy now. He should be able to handle things quite a bit nicer. And what we're waiting for now is the secondary axe to be produced, which may or may not happen. Oh, wait, our production queue is empty, really? Yeah, there's an axe in there. But apparently he can't reach it. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to move our building a little bit closer so he can actually go and grab the thing. I'm hoping. Maybe he's just sitting there eating. I don't know what he's doing. He's just like freaking out a little bit. He's like, I don't know what's going on. All right. Did you get the axe? He got the axe. All right. There we go. Things are looking pretty good now for us. We're going to go and try to get a couple more axes. And I think we're going to add a couple more people to our military thing here. So we're going to add two more. I don't know if we'll be able to build the double axes. It's a thing that I'm hoping will happen, but there's no guarantee. Apparently, we are producing a decent amount of fish. So things are looking pretty good. Let's see how stuff is. We have the toolmaker and the fisherman there. We have a storage worker and the woodcutter there. And I thought we had the military guys in there, but I think they just chill at the camp, so I don't think that's even a thing that we have to worry about. Alright, we produced one more axe, and I think we may... No, we're going to be able to do another one, too. Bjarni's there. R Ragenhild, or whatever that guy's name is, already has one. We're waiting for Liv to get her axe. 
And once she gets her axe, we'll be good. I don't know what he's doing. He's just like... Alright, no weapon? You have a weapon, buddy. Don't, don't, don't notify me of your no weapon. Alright, all goods have been manufactured. We now have Hunter unlocked, and it's available to us. So we can close that off. Does Liv indeed have a weapon as well? Let's see here. Liv does. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a couple more people to this. And then once they get there, we're going to open the portal and we're going to do battle with everybody. I think that's how it's going to play. We'll move this up just a bit more so we're a little tiny bit closer. And then we will unleash the doom, the gloom, the Viking enemies of, of evil and whatever. It's fine, guys. It is 100% fine. Alright, guys, let's do it. Let's open the portal and see what happens. You have opened the portal to Valhalla. Brace yourselves, because soon the portal guards will attempt to stop your Vikings from passing through it. Protect the starting portal in your village at all costs. If it is lost, your Vikings will be lost as well. We're actually going to slow down time. Fight! Fight! It's happened! Your Vikings have been attacked! Civilians can defend themselves with their fists, but it's more advisable to tackle enemies with warriors. Warriors work in military or army camps, which you can build via the construction menu. In these camps, you can train warriors bearing different types of weapons. Your warriors will fight all hostile creatures within the radius of their camp. Therefore, you are well advised to position your military camps in the right locations. Alright guys, we're going to watch this battle ensue. There are two. Hey, this guy's just beating the crap out of uh, the hut. What is he doing? Come on guys, take him out. you got to go stop the other guy from blowing up our building. Is this going to be a thing? Come on, there it is. Alright, so we got the honor, and this guy's rolling out on us. Bjarni's getting wrecked a little bit. Hopefully he's he's able to split the uh, aggro here. It doesn't look like it. But Bjarni's a boss. He's going to outlast these two guys. And down you go, sir. Down you go, and victory is ours. We have defeated the Portal Guardians, and we are technically done. There's not much left to do at this point. Alright, as you see in here, we just got tons and tons and tons of honor. We were attacked, the building was attacked, the fight, tutorial threat. We unlocked snowy ground, a low pedestal, medium pedestal, quarry, or quarry, or whatever, uh, supply depot, or depot, well, a wheat farm, a brewery, stonemason, and a small map. And the portal can now be entered. Alright folks, there you have it. That is going to do it for this particular dealie. We're going to actually go through the portal and I'm going to end it at the start of the next mission. So hopefully you guys will be able to enjoy that. I will be back, and it probably won't be until Monday, Tuesday, something like that, with the next installment, the next episode of Valhalla Hills. But let's enter the portal and see. Victory is mine! Sweet. Love the music, love the sound effects, guys. Alright. Let's go to the next mission. These are all the things that we unlocked. Uh, saw mills, a knife sharp, a saw blades, cut cut the woodcutter's logs into planks. That sounds pretty legit. The hunter can increase your Viking's protein and fat food supplies and additionally provides them with leather that is needed for bows. Snowy ground, low pedestal, medium pedestal. Uh, it's difficult to plant on snowy ground. Uh, allows buildings to be erected on small slopes. Okay. Uh, on steeper slopes. Interesting. Uh, stone quarry from uh, stone from the quarry on the hill is used for the quarry. The quarry on the hill is used for tools and construction. I don't know. I have a hard time saying that word, guys. I don't know why. That's one of those words that I just kind of like gloss over quickly. I just uh, meh. Anyway, supply depot. This special building keeps your soldiers supplied with gold weapons and malt beer. Yeah. The well, I guess, was unlocked as well. Uh, the Vikings primarily need cool water from a well for brewing malt beer. Wheat farm. The golden grain which grows beside the wheat farm can be ground into flour at the mill. The brewery. Malt beer increases the life expectancy expectancy of your soldiers. It is made using wheat and water. And, of course, the stone mason cuts stone fragments into rectangular shapes, making them suitable for building purposes. All right, folks, let's go to the next thing. And we're going to pause, and this is where we're going to break off the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy... <laughs> That's funny. You see a guy, he's already getting ready to fall to his uh, to his starting stone there. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, any of that wonderful fun stuff, it will be down below in the description of the video. Like I said, I'll be back early next week with the next installment, of the next episode of this first look. And if you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, and share it, and I will see you guys next time. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.